Oh yeah, because here's my thing. Listen, it ain't about the people no more. It's about the policy. Right. People may not like him as a person, but what can you say you don't like about his policy? We passed the first step back in December. This month on the 19th, we got 2,500 people coming out alone. Just, just, just. And these are all like non-violent drug offenders. We reunited our family. So at the end of the day, we want to stand on the other side and they want to fight the bill. Right. This election is coming up. I advise everybody to be smart. And how we gonna how we gonna be fighting to free somebody else when we ain't even free? Mm. Can can we get free first? Like me, I'm a parent, right? And I know as a parent, my job is to provide and take care of my kids. So when I get my paycheck, the first thing I'm gonna do is take care of my household. Right. That don't mean I won't help the people across the street or help the people down right. the street. It just means that I have a moral obligation right. to take care of my kids first. first. Right. As the president of the United States, you have a moral obligation to take care of America first. So you think that's what he's meaning by kind of what's going... In the beginning, I was skeptical like everybody else. It wasn't until I was able to get in. Like, I, I can see from an angle everybody else. Right, 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 right. Everybody else is looking at clips and stuff that's being recorded in the news and the social media. I'm actually working on the inside right. and I'm seeing something totally different. Right. Now, at the end of the day, this is what I'm going to say. Regardless of what anybody's motive is as to why they doing it, if I'm coming in and you want them to do something for me, regardless so of we what your motive is, I'm not losing by people getting out of jail and coming home and being reunited with their family. There's no way you can tell me we're losing and doing that. Right. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's where I'm at, Trump 2020. Man, okay. Hey, that's hey, them big words, man. I feel you. So it's funny because I got a lot of, you know, I got a decent little following. I got a lot of followers that's really like, they... They kind of, kind of feeling Trump too. You know what I'm saying? Um, think about this. Just be real, like in the beginning, before the man ran for the presidency, we was rocking with him, right? We was rocking with him. That's every true. Rap song, he was, he was in the movies song. and the videos. Man, Lil John and the Eastside Boys was on his show. You yeah. Remember, right? Come on, he messed with every Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson. Yeah. This is a conspiracy, man. At the end of the day, this is how I feel. They told me 25 white men passed the law to preserve white life. I'm saying, well, and that was the ban on abortion. And yeah. you talking about the ban on abortion. Right, 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 right. It's saving our babies too. Right. Why we don't see that? Right. Why are we mad? Why am I arguing with black women on my Instagram every day about why they don't need to kill their own children and why our numbers need to be really right. strong? Because the people at the border, one thing about it, they do not believe in abortion and they need For they real. stick together. Right. All right, well, hey, we got to get on out of here. I appreciate you. Yeah, they can kick us out. <laughs> but no, I appreciate you. Thank you. Miss Angela Stan King, man. Street Certified Podcast.